Hello and welcome to another Grey Guitars video. Um, this is another video to promote guitars that are on the online store and this uh, is certainly one of them. Um, I make a lot of Emperors, my S-type guitars, and I do look forward to making Admirals, our T-type guitars. Um, I love them. It's my super, my Desert Island guitar is a great uh, T-style guitar. You know, they just... We don't need to talk about that. We all know why they're awesome. You know, the rhythm, the lead, you know, they, they sound great. They, they feel great. Um, this, a quick chat about this one then. So this one is really light. It's a Swamp Ash Premier Swamp Ash straight from Luthier Supplies. David Dyke, the Gandalf of um, wood supplying. What that guy doesn't know about great wood doesn't need to be known. Um, so this body is um, premium, gorgeous, lightweight, perfectly joined. Swamp Ash. It is, has got my belly cut into it. Um, you know, when you're playing these guitars for a long period of time, that's of course what the first thing all those country guys, about, um, Bill Travers, all those guys in the 50s said about this guitar, you know, they're great. But do something about that, Leo. And so he did. So, you know, I, I just think um, if you're playing these guitars for a long time, it's great to have a, a belly cut. Um, uh, so this is a, vi a, um, a vintage butterscotch, so it's kind of darkened a bit, um, and it's a satin finish. It's one of those finishes where I kind of call it like um, well looked after. So it's got um, aged Goto vintage staggered tuners, no need for a string tree, which is great. Great. It's got um, aged, uh, you know, the strap buttons, aged neck plates. Um, the bits that get the wear look great. Um, the neck, okay, let's think about this for a second. This neck is master grade bird's eye, straight from Nova Scotia in Canada, from Haley's Roses Maple. Rene is a legend, and I've been with him for a long time, and when I say I need some special necks, I do get them. I'll in include some close-up photos and stuff in the video, come along any second now, but it is great. And now, talking about the neck, I love a big fat one in my hand when I'm playing, and this one certainly is. This basically has no depth taken off it. So the wood starts at, the whole neck starts at, you know, an inch thick and it stays that way. Um, and it, but it's very comfortable to play. Now there's this whole thing about thin necks are more comfortable, you know. And I personally think when I'm playing, and you can kind of see it if, if I do this, if you play and you're bending strings or playing chords or whatever, when the back of the neck is completely supported, is in your hand, in the palm of your hand, it makes e playing effortless. And this has got tens on it and they feel like nines just because the way your hand sits. Um, and I personally love them. And it's fi finished in the oil and wax. And you know, I'm making guitars for a while now and I get better at stuff and the more of these necks I've finished, the more I realise little steps to take in between the coats of the wax and what to do with the last coat of wax and all that kind of stuff, just so it has a real, you know, glossy, I hate that sticky lacquer back of the neck thing. That's why we see people like Keith Richards and Jeff Beck have got their guitar techs always covered in talcum powder because he's whacking the back of a talcum powder all the time, um, just so they can play it. So um, this fingerboard and neck are cut from the same piece of wood. So I get bits of wood, I slice enough off to make the fingerboard, and, and the fingerboard goes back on exactly the same place as it was when it was one piece of wood. And this one has come off particularly beautifully. Um, what else? It's got a rutter's bridge. Now these rutter's bridge, Josh Smith turned me on to these, and I use them all the time now. And it's one of those great bridges where the walls of the sides of the bridge are chamfered down, so you haven't got that thing under your hand all the time. These bridges are great. Uh, radio shop pickups, uh, these are kind of 62, they're 62 telly set, um, stonking, just unbelievably cool. Um, Stumac 155 frets, I found another Stumac fret wire I really super like. It's very similar to 154, but it's a bit narrower. So it has a vintage feel, but all the height you'd ever need for any kind of guitar playing you're ever going to do. Um, 
Anything else to talk about? This is the general look at it. Look at it. I don't think so. Okay, let's hear it. So um, I'm playing into a Princeton Reverb amp. Um, here it is. This is the bridge pickup on its own. <laughs> Crisp, articulate. Just wonderful. Okay, now, so middle position. favourite sounds of all in electric guitars is a Telecaster in the middle position. And the neck. So that's all very clean and beautiful. Let's add some doit. Um, I've got a Thorpey Dane here. Shout out to uh, <coughs> the older Peter there. Um, let's have a bit of that. So let's just have a bit of drive. Okay, here's the middle position, same sound. Um... position.
also got a uh, fuzz, fuzz, fuzz from Michael Hudson at Hudson Electronics, famous for the broadcast. Um, he had a whole bunch of pedals which he doesn't make anymore, but this one, um, I managed to get one. It's based on the Mark IV Tone Bender, so if you're jamming along to Les Zeppelin 1 with a T-type guitar, it does sound pretty good. Let's hear, let's hear this guitar through a bit of fuzz. <laughs> That's where it is, online store, it'll be up there. Have a look. Oh.